Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Heart Party. And here's your host, Cinnamon Cooney, the Art Sherpa. Hey, everybody, how are you doing? If your heart's open and you're ready to live open hearted today, I hope so. We're kind of in a goofy mood. Got today's sippy sippy, brand new. Ooh, sippy sippy. I got a sippy I don't sippy think they actually too. care if I show their brand. Oh. This is good. A little loud there. See, I got my sippy sippy back here too. Am I loud or are you No, loud? it's me. I was just okay. Like, oh. So today, guys, we're going to be painting the Remembrance Rose. Ooh. Right? Which is gorge and it has all these colors. Listen, um, I put where I always like to hide things in the description. Yeah. I put where you can go get that photograph if you want to print one out to look at while we're working on this. Oh, and that good. can be very helpful. This is a more um, advanced class, but I don't want you to like not go for it and not do it. We are going to do traceable. We're going to help in every way we can. Traceables, I get asked a lot where those are. I hide them on Pinterest and Facebook very sneakily. Pinterest, Facebook, totally hide them. Mm. There. Hide them there. Hide them there, where they're repinned. Yep. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, but if, if, if you're looking for those, that's where those are. If you're looking for the picture, that was from Paint My Photo. And the photographer's credited there, and the link is there. And I saw this, and it just really impacted my heart, and I just had to do it. Canvas I'm working on today is a 16 by 20. Yep. So, and I just literally grabbed this hot off the shelves at Michael's today <laughs> on sale. <laughs> So what are you drinking? What's your sippy sippy oh, for the day? The sippy sippy today is the Trent. Oh, is it the venti or the Trenta? What is this one? Trenta. Yeah. TR Trenta. Trenta. Very very hibiscus. Very very hibiscus. It's it's actually super yummy. My husband used to drink a bunch of these green coffee beverages. They had one they called the orange kick to the face. Yeah. Yeah. That he would make. I loved it. And the barista was like, "Oh, it's John's orange kick to the face," and that's exactly what it tasted like, like a orange kicked you in the face yeah this does not this is yummy <laughs> so we're going to be using a special tool today and i haven't introduced these before because they have been so expensive and so i've always been like kids chalk use whatever but these are actually what i would prefer people sketch uh their paintings in with which is watercolor pencils and today i saw these for five dollars and Ooh. that's a big huge difference from 56. I'm not going to ask you to go get <laughs> some $56 watercolor pencils to sketch in your painting, but at $5, that's close enough to getting some chalk chalk, and these are wonderful, and they really vanish into the painting. <laughs> so I have pre-sketched in my rows, and I've done some wishes. Ooh. Wishes. So wishes. If, we love the wishes. If you're new to the channel, wishes are that we like to write messages to ourselves hopes and dreams and wishes and they can be big and crazy or they can be small and simple um, they can be something very serious and they can be something very goofy today's wishes we have a artist who wrote me and asked me to run on the canvas and she suffers from intracranial hypertension which mm. is a very serious condition our neighbor in canada john had that yep and it was very debilitating it's challenging yeah. to live with I, she's a very prolific painter and I'm always in awe of the fact that she is because I know she paints through the pain. Yeah. I know a lot of people are painting through the pain. And so what I'm wishing for her is, we wrote on here headway in the research on that. Yep. And also just, I, I don't know, I wrote in there just a miraculous succession of the pain because I'm like, well, I'm just wishing. That's right. I'm, I'm just going to wish for the pain just to go away. So while we're wishing. And then the other wish that um, we had a couple wishes for babies. Yep. Well, I'm all I'm totally into babies. that. <laughs> wish for babies. <laughs> wish for babies. Baby, 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 baby. So we, we wrote some baby around here. And then um, I have a wish I was going to write in. Hmm. What's your wish? Well, this is based on what you used to do, John. When John, at the beginning of every, every time we would film, he would say, who is this video for? Oh, yeah, that's right. Who is this video for? Why are you doing this? And this video, I'm wishing that somebody, I'm wishing that this, this particular video is very healing. It yeah. doesn't just teach a beautiful rose, but it's very healing. And I'm wishing somebody that needs that good, positive healing energy finds it and feels better. That's it, just something simple, just to feel better. 
But um, sometimes, man, feeling better. Yeah. That's the challenge, right? It's it can be hard to feel better. So cool. that's what that is. Well, why don't we take a take a sippy sippy, sippy and say sippy? hello to everybody? Oh, I'd I'd love to. I know I saw um, somebody with unicorn dream in yeah. their name. I saw cracking cracking cracking's in crackin', there. Cracking cracking. And Mark Muir. Mark. I, I, Bernie's in there. Okay. Bernadette. Kathy, Mona. Mona's hi Mona. I saw Amanda Jane Jane Woods always here. Hi Maybe. Jane. Uh, Nadia, I think. I think I've seen Nadia, Nadia before. And uh, so uh, uh, Emmy's in there too. So. Hi, Emmy. How are you doing today? Hi, everybody. It's good to see an underdog I saw earlier. So Ooh. official panda. Hi, Pete. Look, I learn. <laughs> I learn. Loved the flower painting you shared with me. It was amazing. Structural paint on that was incredible. Whole, the whole great direction to go anywhere. I loved it. Because you can share paintings with me on Facebook for everyone who doesn't know why I suddenly just randomly said that. <laughs> <laughs> People well, send do. paintings to me and I see them and I go, ooh, this is good. So, so yeah, your sippy is the, is, is the refresher today and I'm having coffee. My power bracelet yeah, is the, the rose. The power bracelet is the rose. I'm painting with Teclon acrylic brushes. I like the brand Creative Mark. I'm, I'm not, they're not a sponsor. But they're cool. But they're cool and they answer questions and the brushes tend to be economical and yeah. last a while. Yep. So all the things that I like. Yes. Yes. So varying sizes and I have the basic sizes I like people to have. Again, description hidden. And we got paint out. And um, those of you that saw the palette yesterday are having a laugh right now because <laughs> you know how I struggle <laughs> for this. We but did I, it. <laughs> we <laughs> oh, wait. We, what? Oh, I didn't put the new graphic up there. See, aha, so it's John is wrong. You, but see, look, we can do this magically live on TV. Hold on, I'll, I'll switch back over. See, you can talk to them for two seconds. What I'll do is I'll pull this up. He's got to fix the graphic. I have buttons over here. But I did it right. She did. She had I all did her stuff right. in order. This time. Yesterday, not as much. So guess who was here yesterday? Lindsay, the here? frugal crafter, oh, was right, here. That's right, she was. And John just goes, Lindsay's here. Well, we know some Lindsay's at Heart Party. <sighs> And there are many, many Lindsays, and so I'm always going to say hi. I thought it was another Lindsay I had been chatting with. It was actually the Frugal Crafter, and so that was pretty amazing she came by. I, she's been in the Creative Arts Collaboration. She's been super supportive of all the other art channels. It has been amazing. Mm. She's just come in and really helped everybody, and I have been yep. really appreciative of it. So he, what? Yeah, so I'll say sorry, Lindsay. I'll make sure that I say Lindsay. But she's not here now. <laughs> no, Why she come by and watch the Rose video? But if she didn't watch the Rose video, <laughs> <laughs> but you can tell her that <laughs> no, it's okay. You don't have to <laughs> then go all of a sudden, you're the weird stalker. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean we chat a little bit. And by the way, if you have not seen the Crafty Twins, which are her daughters, I have not. Yeah, I have go not. by and check out their channel, the Crafty Twins. It is amazing. I'm really impressed with those little girls. If you have kids that are crafting and arting. So the, the channel is art for kids by kids and it's really great stuff. Sometimes they do mother daughter projects across the channel, which kind of blew my mind. And the stuff is really good. And actually I thought on one painting, her daughter kinda owned it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And the wore it better. Pretty cool. Yeah, it is really cool. So if you haven't seen it, Crafty Twins. Crafty Twins. Yeah, right. you got kids who are crafting with I you. got the graphics are done. You got graphics, okay. There. See, look, I fixed it. Ooh, all right, yellow ochre, titanium white, cad red medium. You can buy hue to save money. Phthalo blue, dogzine purple, and cad yellow. Now the other day on Periscope, if you saw me painting it, I painted with a couple different colors that I'm gonna do today because I don't want you guys to have to go buy paint. But if you can, I did my Southern Ocean blue and my Australian Sienna. I don't make everybody buy these on the show anymore because you have to order them online if you don't have a Jerry's or you don't live in Australia. So, um, and then if you live in Australia, they charge a lot of money for these. They're like more expensive than golden paint. Hmm. They're really good though. They're, They're really good. We like them. Yeah, really good. If you can buy them, if you can do it and not strain your budget or your life, love those two colors. Good deal. Sketch this in. You, yep. I did, I sketched this in with my watercolor. Let's see if we can see it. Pencil. Yeah, we can, we can see a little bit of it. Yeah, it's, so it's, I did this whole sketch in. Um, go ahead, use the traceable if you like, or definitely, you know, look at the picture. What I'd say is how I do this, and I'm, I'm just going to give you a little guidance here, even though it's going to extend our lesson if nobody minds. 
I does anybody mind? If, and if anyone objects, I'll let you know. Yeah. You, you know, watch a close-up cam if you're going to do it. Okay. So, so oh, where, where, are you, where are you at? I'm going to uh, do a close-up cam. Okay. So what I generally do, and how I did this when I sketched this in, is I start with my central petal. Let me fix right? Okay. The idea being is I figure out its placement. This is the first thing I've got to figure out correctly when I'm drawing in a canvas. What? What do you think? Oh. Oh, because my hat doesn't get focused. Okay. So that's my little trick. Um, when I'm sketching, whether it's in plain air, out in nature somewhere, or if I'm sketching in the studio, wherever I am, what I do is I find an anchor object. Okay, and once I find my anchor object in shape and get that incorrectly, it's very easy then to say, oh, well, I've got a little petal that comes off over here and sketch that in. Well, I know I have a petal that comes off these two that I can very easily sketch in, right? Once I know where yep. these three are, this petal comes in super easy. Right? Yeah. This is just a little drawing thing. Sometimes what's hard is to figure out where to start. If you can figure out your anchor object, which is this forward facing focal pedal for this particular picture, and when you see the photograph, you'll go, oh, okay, and then I can get that pedal in. Once I know where these two are, I can put this pedal in, right? That pedal can go in. And then these upper pedals are very easy. Listen. The other thing is, is that you can edit. People forget that. You may edit a photograph. I'm gonna, no. Okay, all right. You can tell me too. He's running back, he's running, okay. He's running back and forth. So you can kind of see this in much stronger now, right? And the reason for this is, I, I just really want to share this because, again, I see people in art classes who are even experienced artists who get lost in that sketching phase. And they're always like, oh, how do you get that in? How do you, I just anchor something to the canvas. It's like being out in space and throwing your little lifeline on the spaceship and being like, now I can, I can walk out here now because I'm, I'm anchored. I don't have to free float into craziness. And so that is your security blanket. And I put in my stems, I got my little leaves in, I got all my little shapes in. But then everything else, just all these complicated shapes become less complicated if you'll anchor this in. Now, we'll go back to the up close cam. Just, just in case some of you are drawing along with me trying to do this right now. And we're gonna come down and the nausea cam. All right, am I? You're good. All right. That's good right there. So then it's real easy, and I've got a green pencil, right? Then it's super easy for me to sketch in the stem shapes that I've got to do because I have this anchor. So I know I've got this little stamen guy that comes off over here, and he's kind of a crazy little shape. And then I have this one. And I, I also edited these shapes from the photograph because they were not balanced completely in the photograph because nature isn't thinking about my compositional balance. Nature does not care <laughs> what I'm working on. Nature just does what nature does and then I've got to work it out. So you can see how anchoring that lets me come in to these complicated shapes that I'm looking for. And then one of the things I did here is I knew that, I, that my little petal was about in this area, so I created a little circle right here. And I had worked my little stem down. You know, when you see figure artists, they will create all kinds of, they have all kinds of anchoring techniques. They have a bunch of different names for them, but at the end of the day, what they're doing is they're anchoring their pieces. They're finding their way through a very complicated set of curves and lines by their methods. And so it's, it seems mysterious if you're new to it. When you've been doing it for a while, you're like, oh, I totally know what I'm up to here. And so that just lets you get all those objects in and not struggle. And again, $5 artist loft watercolor pencils because that actually is going to really help me. And get, get this, you can erase these lines completely with a damp cloth. 
Huh. Yeah. I'm going to get a nice bright, a nice big bright because I don't want to be at this all day. I'm going to get a nice big bright. If this is a, uh, what do you think the size of this is? Close mm. to an inch, but not quite. Um, let's do our QVC trick. Three quarters of an inch? Yep. Three quarters. So there we go. So three QVC. Quarter inch. Thank you. Three quarters. So close. So, you know, Amy has been out here with us. Hi, Amy. How are you doing? And she's been sharing her story, and has it's been she? very nice. I appreciate you sharing that. I didn't want to do names, you and know, but. And she said that she, she, she was crying when she heard you tell her story, and she appreciates that so much. Well, you're very welcome, Amy. Yeah, thank you're you. You're very thank welcome. Thank you for joining and watching with us. We, you know, we appreciate you just tuning in with us. We really do. So I'm going to paint this in. We're all going to send Amy light and love while we're painting this in. Yep. We're going to do that. I'm just, just tinting it a little bit with the cad red now originally when i did this original one i did the australian sienna because i just love the australian sienna but again expensive paint <laughs> <laughs> not readily available so it, you can do this if you have red yellow and blue you can do a painting as long as they're not in the complementary ranges and what i mean by that is like yellow and purple are on opposite ends of the color wheel and blue and orange are so if you have like warmer cool tones in your primaries it can make mixing red and blue complicated if it's a red orange right and a and a deep cool blue then you're going to get a grayed out color when you expect to get a purple hmm. right could like if i were to do my cad red and my phthalo blue you don't get a nice purple could you pull that the, uh, the close-up camera over there on you a little bit so yeah. they can see what you're doing in there? I am just going to paint all of this in with the yellow, and I'm going to paint around what I've sketched. That's nice. Right? Here you go. And you'll see, even as you paint, like these lines are disappearing. And I did them a little darker than you might do them. You might sketch them very lightly. Yeah, we need them to show up on the screen, so we, yeah. we put them in a little darker. So we get a little, I use a dark color or a little rougher or, you know. This was a long intro today, so I'm sorry it took a little while to get into this painting. I hope, I hope everybody hangs in with us a little bit. You know, we've, 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 uh, we've got almost 50 people here with us today. Wow. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of them are wishing really good thoughts out there to Amy. And thank you. I ev love that. Everyone, thank you very much. So I really you know, think that makes a difference. Yeah, we, we really do. So lots of light and love. Put the wishes on your canvas for, her. you know, doesn't hurt anybody. I know for John and I, uh, we have certainly felt a, just a difference from all the, the encouragement and kindness we get. Oh, yeah. You know, it has impacted us made the world seem like a much friendlier gentler place yeah i'm gonna what what oh you're good oh uh, you're, you're good you're they, like they, i'm gonna do something so i'm like what do i need to do so just get this in as quick as you can you know they, they were commenting that the close-up camera is a little dark and uh i think that's because the contrast on it is so that we could see the uh the uh the, the lines on there. So we oh, had so we just need to fix the contrast real fast? Well, no, I think it's, I, I mean, for right now, it's they are noticing it's a little darker. I think that once we get to a... See, Considering we've got a giant spotlight shining, <laughs> like, right out of contact. Yeah. And uh, close encounters, of, actually, close encounters of the third kind would be a more accurate assessment. Let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna come over there and, and yeah. fiddle with that while you're you're painting in. They can watch. Yeah, I'm just I'm just putting in this. This is gonna show through our turquoise and create some really neat effects. And we're gonna have a nice time because of it. And it's just, again, this is a more advanced painting. It's a little more time intensive. We'll be here for a minute. I would say this is right about where the fox is at. A lot of complicated compound curves that we've drawn in. What? They're all watching you do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. They, I didn't, uh, 
You forgot to switch it? Well, no, no, no. I, I, I thought you were still painting inside the zoom-in box. So I'm sorry. I didn't <laughs> even check that either. <laughs> <laughs> so they're, they're sitting here watching me. Well, Nobody's I, even watching. Goodness gracious, isn't it good someone's watching the kids? Because clearly we're not qualified. I think we got it a little brighter, though. Yeah, I think so. I think it looks a little brighter there. See? Yeah. All right, so that's just what we're doing. We're just getting this oh, in. There you are. Is the hat messing with it? No, no. I just lost you on the cameras. I pushed the wrong button. You just lost me? Just, you know. I didn't even know I was lost. Like those people on the island. Well, that took up a lot of my life. That took <laughs> up anybody else's life? Did loss take up anybody else's life? I spent the whole thing going, they better not be dead. And this better not all be some sort of dead dream. Whole time. And then I was like, really? You have years to work this out, guys. Years to come up with any other out, like solution outcome. They're all abducted on an alien spaceship. And this is a holographic experiment to test the humans. Be any other option than that. Curly was my favorite character besides, John, who was our other favorite characters? Do you remember them? Ben. No, Rose and Bernard. Oh yeah, Rose and Bernard. Because they did the only sensible thing yes, they, they can <laughs> do. <laughs> they just left all those crazy conflict people. <laughs> and went and had a beach life. Yeah. Like, right. I'm not sick anymore, and now I'm living on the beach. See, that's the hardest solution to that set of problems. Wild polar bears, crazy others kidnapping people, or I can just move over to this other side of the island where nothing seems to be happening and live on the beach. Yep, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> that is exactly what John and I would do, for sure. We got anything going on in the comments where we're painting in this long, big background? Oh, yeah, there's... there's you know, <laughs> I've actually been, uh, th there's been commenting a lot on your bracelet. The bracelet. Ma. Power bangle your today. Power bangle, yeah. Power bangles are very helpful. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I'm not a good singer, but I sing a lot. <laughs> like it. it's, it's good. I, you know, I'm not trying out for Idol, though. We're not going to cut a record. Yeah. But I sing with the kids, like we sing everything. We sing teeth brushing, we sing bedtime, we sing food. It's like, <laughs> it's like kind of a bad opera. All the time. Sippy, sippy. Graveyard girl. Mm. You know, other than us all being from a swamp and enjoying her YouTube channel, I don't know why we... S I guess because it's, it's sippy sippy. It's awesome. No, I think what it is, is like, first of all, it's just a really good show, man. <laughs> yeah. It's really good. Like I don't know how we like I just adopted her, okay, that, her though. Okay, her and Lily Singe, Superwoman. Her, yeah, Superwoman. Like that, that's the collaboration I want to see. Is those two? Yeah. I don't want to see Beth Moda on there at all. But I would love to see Lily... I would love to see Superwoman in... And, and and graveyard yeah. girl just do something. Those two would be a riot. Yeah, like can you imagine them on a thrift store run? <laughs> <laughs> they should talk. They should. Also, I think we could send Contiki could send them both on vacation. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. together, and we could just watch that. Just watch I would that. tune in. Yeah. I would tune in. I'd send them to some. Yeah. Pacific Islands to have fun for a yeah, I, like wouldn't it be like really funny if they didn't like each other? Though? <laughs> <laughs> They're like you're cool and all, but you just get on my nerves. <laughs> Though I don't think YouTubers have that same sort of like rock star battle thing that the musicians get going. No, well, we're we're you know very community oriented here. Yeah. You want to zoom in on there on that one? Yeah. Your nausea cam. Nausea cam. <laughs> you know, I, I, I swear it's not even intentional. I'm like trying to not do it. That's what makes <laughs> it so bad. Well, in all fairness, that's not a fluid head over there. That's well, a, it really isn't, is it? No, it's it's a photographic head. So I need to swap them out. Yeah. Just craziness. Getting ready for fall art. Getting ready for all of that coming up. The CAC. I gotta mm. come up with something to paint for fall art. Four. Yep. It's whatever. Well, I'm gonna just be painting fall stuff through. Mm -hmm. 
right? Um, I know uh, Frugal Crafter just put up a really good um, fall seam. Watercolor, wow. very cool. She's got a good rose too. If you wanna um, check out another rose, she's got a good rose in watercolor. I'm really sort of telling you about somebody you already know about. <laughs> Although I, I, I saw I saw someone uh, mention Star Trek in passing, so I'm going to have to go back and see what that comment was. Oh, yeah. Anything Star Trek. Go, well, yeah. Actually, I have to say what I saw was the uh, ST and I saw the Star Trek, the next generation, an acronym, you know, oh. ST colon uh, TNG. So it's like I have, I, I have to go see what it was because I don't even actually know what was said. So this thing is all aglow. That's looking good. Yeah. And, and, and it's just crazy. It works out really, really well. So, so, so. Oh, so that was cute. Uh, 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 Kelly was saying that. Uh, Hi, Kelly. When uh, uh, so when my son was young, uh, they made him uh, brush his teeth for the duration of the Star Trek: The Next Generation intro song. So that way they would talking about you singing, I guess is what that was. <laughs> that's a good that's a good duration to do it for, you know. So. That's really a good idea. Yeah. But not Voyager. Hey. Hey. <laughs> John's a Voyager fan. I I you know Janeway ran a tight ship. What are you gonna do? All right. I got nothing I can say there. <laughs> You have to watch the entire series to even even have a vote on it. So, it's my my policy is if you couldn't stick out the entire series, you don't actually get to vote on it. All right, okay, all right. I see where you're coming from. I see where you're coming at me from. I'm going to take a little phthalo blue over to my cad red, and as I mentioned earlier, how you would expect to get purple from cad red and phthalo blue because they have con complements in them. You don't. You get a really lovely brick red. I like that brick red. Yeah, that's what you get. It's a nice deep tone. And we're going to come here at the base of our flower. And what we're going to be doing with this right now is blocking in the deep tones. Blocking in the deep tones. And I'm going to come right under the petal. Not another little shadow. These are going to get really painted out, layered, affected, but it is a good way to start saying, hey, these are some values that we need to be thinking about. Right here, I've got this going on. Well, I hear banging. What is that? <laughs> I, w I was going over uh, to answer Mark's question. He asked if anyone watched Warehouse 13, so I was just going to type to him in the comments. I was like, well, yeah, of course. We watch like, everything. We watch everything. <laughs> but instead, <laughs> I spilled my coffee all over the keyboard. <gasps> oh, no. But luckily, I have one of those awesome. Oh, no. Oh. No, see, I, I have one of the, the sweet Final Cut oh, Pro Oh, sweetie. Don't keyboards. destroy the keyboard. Oh, Nausea cam. Nausea cam. So I guess this isn't really a fall themed. Um, this is not really a fall themed one. But it has such powerful colors to it. Such a really cool photograph. And I like doing roses. I think a lot of other people like doing roses. We've certainly, since we first started asking for requests, have gotten a lot of requests about roses. So I'm, I'm this is a half inch filbert that I'm blocking this in with. You could block anything in, that you're comfortable with. In this particular maneuver, the Kobayashi Maru maneuver of art, it's really not. <laughs> Something should be though, shouldn't it? We should be able to say something is the Kobayashi Maru of art. I don't know. I probably. I'm over here blowing out my keyboard with a mic off. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> how bad is it? Oh, it's not bad. I He's just like, I don't want to tell anyone how bad it is. We don't want to stress anybody out. Well, if the broadcast goes down, you know I, it was me spilling the coffee in the control room. <laughs> no sippy sippy for John. I lose my sippy sippy privileges. In the control booth. You get no drink. Well, normally I don't have anything back here. If I do, it's on the floor. 
but it was I just have this real small little cup and I thought what harm could come what harm and now you know and then all of a sudden you guys are looking at a black screen so yeah I'm putting in these this, these dark shades a couple of places just paying attention to it um, and then I'm gonna come back with a smaller tighter brush and um, I'm thinking like a, oh my one of my very favorite half inch brights I'm gonna come in with a smaller tighter brush and I'm going to get a little orange going and a little white going and just sort of put this in. This is, again, we are just here for a minute. I'm, I'm worried that what I've done is picked a lesson that's pretty involved. <laughs> well, luckily. But we've we been have, asking for some more advanced stuff. And, but you know, and also YouTube has an infinite amount of recording capacity. How do they? Does that ever just like blow your mind? No. No? Because they just keep adding more hard drive space. So I'm kind of interested. We don't like to do these in like eight part segments. We, we, we're always getting recommended by the YouTube people that we break these up into multi, multi part segments, like, like 20 minute increments. And, and you know, for us, that would be just a lot of video. And we've been, we very much like the runs because we figure you guys can just pause pause and start again but i'm wondering wh how you guys actually feel about it yeah. one of the one of the things that we uh, will mention while we're on that is that uh, we do have all the dvr functions in uh, enabled on this so you can pause rewind you can take a break catch back up with us even here on the live broadcast it'll allow you to fast forward to catch up with us and as soon as we're done here on the broadcast this will be available on demand as all of our all of our other videos are yeah and it's all long glory. And it's long, long glory. Yeah. And, you know, if you'll, uh, oh, er, people are like, no, don't break them up. Yeah, no. I, I, I have to agree with everyone. We should not break them up. We we're, we actually, and i got to start writing this wish in. I would like to be the first long form. I don't know if anyone knows what long form is on the other side of the camera. Yeah. Long, long form is that long, I. Yeah, full episodes. That full means episodes. We of don't process. cut it up. We don't, we don't fast forward. We show you every brush stroke, every moment. Every aching moment of our development. You process. see it all. The process all goes in. Right? Which generally in the YouTube world is considered something akin to insanity. Yeah, they think that we're crazy for doing this. Like, they want us to break these up into. 12 to 18 minute segments so that it can be consumed in neat little blocks. And they use words like consumed. <laughs> because you guys don't want to consume this video. You want to sit and watch it and you enjoy it You experience it. Be, be part of it with You're us. You're part of it. Yeah, I like that. You're part of it. So, um, we, as one of our dreams, and hopefully, and it'll be with your guys' help entirely, because you couldn't do it on your own, is one of our dreams is to be the first long form full process channel to hit big numbers yeah because that's basically what they've said is that you can't do it and oh that always gets me going i just even if i didn't care before whenever anyone tells me i can't then it's on like donkey kong yeah you know we almost we got like uh, i think we just we just broke 60 people here wow or, Hello, if that were like, 60 we're, we're at 59 right now when i look over there so it's uh yeah we're uh thank you guys for coming and joining us you know, we really appreciate you being here. Um, you know, take the time to like, comment, and subscribe. It really lets YouTube know that you guys are here. Let's us lets them know that uh, uh, you're enjoying it and helps other people come find us. Be sure that you're varying up everything John said, but I got to <laughs> teach the lesson. Be sure that you're varying up the oranges. Like, I'm going to get a little of my brick orange going again because I see a place that I needed a shadow. I forgot one, which is right here. And you're still using that bright. I'm just going to use this bright for a minute. Okay. I'm going to stay on this bright probably for a lot of this. I'm going to bring this down here. And, and that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be looking for, it's like in the fox, you're looking for these tonalities. After this, go, go, if you haven't done the fox, if you've been holding off on doing the fox, if you get through this, ro this flower, yep. go fox it up. Yeah, the fox, is, the fox was a fun video. Yeah. Fox it up. Yeah, I liked the Love Summer art video. That one was fun. Yeah, that was a very good video. 
So I'm mixing, we got to remember to teach the class. Are you keep teaching? I'm mixing the yellow and the red and the white. I'm getting a peach. That's how I'm getting all these peach tones. They're You're really filling out on the close-up camera. You can, it's yeah. the, the colors aren't quite as, as, as bright, but you can see the... Uh, the tonality, the value. Yeah. And, and everyone here really does agree that the, the long process videos, they prefer that. They, there's a, there is a strong reaction against Thank you. The, uh, them being broken up. Well, we will we will stay strong in Absolutely. that. We will stay strong. Even when I'm at Creator Day, they're going to be like all up in my face. Going, you need to break this. I'm gonna be like, nope, not doing it. Not Wait and our, see. Our, our, fan, our, our community said no. Our community said no, and our community is going to grow, and y'all will see. People want real content. They want real information, real experience. They want to paint along. Look at this coming in. So it looks kind of crazy right now, right? I'm getting a little more red, grabbing a little yellow, coming over to my white. I am not being, just so you know, this first layer, like I'm always saying in all of my paintings, it lets me know where my objects are. It gives me some idea. It, it's like a place card for my, for my um, shadows and things. I'm gonna do a very light color right here along mm -hmm. this petal. But here's what it is not. It is not hypercritical that you match to the letter, okay, everything that I'm doing. Close approximation at this stage is perfectly acceptable. When I'm painting these in, when I'm designing these, I'll do a whole bunch of stuff that I change my mind on later, and the paint is just there as, as a place card. Right, and that's what you're trying to do, is you're trying to create a place card of paint so you know where, oh, I had a petal here, or oh, this was going on here. So you just don't get lost as you're painting. Mm -hmm. And that's all it is, because there's a lot of work between you and the end of, of this. Yeah. And we're going to... Any questions or anything going there, on? Well, you know, there's, there's a lot of people who are really excited about the idea of, of some upcoming paintings. Oh, the, is the Skull and Roses? Oh, actually, they're, t they're, they're, they're talking about some who stuff. Oh, is there excitement about? The 19th is coming up. The 19th. And, you know, it, it, uh, it makes me really happy to see everyone out there remembering to give love to Amy and, and that we're, yeah. we're supporting all of that journey here in this painting today. Yeah, very much. So thank you guys for remembering her and sending all that love. That's a big, big deal. Makes a difference. So, and and I think that... Uh, uh, so are we seeing that? I did that light peach all through here at the top, right? Yep. And I'm going to put in really about two tones down here. I'm going to mix a green. You may have to pull the close-up camera down on you a little I'm bit. I'm going to. Okay. I'm going to do that. As you come. All right. all right. I swear I don't do all that moving and jerking intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> it's not on purpose. I'm going to take some red over to this, this green that I'm mixing to darken it. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Doing that. That's a, that's a Mark Muir color. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I'm going to paint in the base of this rose, this dark. Did anybody here today do the um, the koi last night? You know, I, I don't know. We'll find out if they have. You have to wonder if the rose people are the koi people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see lots of friendly faces yeah. out there. It's really nice. So thank you guys all for joining us. Emmy, the little brush is out there. Yeah. I appreciate that. M uh, Emmy the Mastermind or Emma? Uh, M Emmy the Mastermind. Yeah, hi Emmy. She was she was just asking about uh, some of our, our moderators. So we've had some wonderful people who've come in to volunteer for uh, for us to, to help be moderators, and they you know they help keep make sure that uh, our chat stays as friendly as it does, and we really appreciate all those. Uh, yeah, we curate this chat. It's it's not about freedom of speech here. It's <laughs> about the freedom to enjoy yourself. We we want everyone here to have a, have a nice time yeah. and have a peaceful time. So we try to curate the chat, you know, to keep it nice and calm. So you know, we we want everyone to have a good time. So here's the deal. Here's my feeling on this. 
is that um, remember at VidCon <coughs> when Made You Look was talking about how she curates her channel. Mm -hmm. She curates the experience of the people that come and spend time with her. And I completely agree with that. Like freedom of speech, crack a joke, love a zombie, all of that is all good yeah. all day. However, we all know the difference between, you know, expressing an opinion and not being nice. And I, there's just no room here to not be nice. Yeah. We just don't have any room for it. There's no need for it. It's the DIY space. It's the how-to space. There's no need. If you want to paint it a different way or do it a different style, there's about a thousand amazing art teachers out there with different styles. Find another style, but no need to stay on a channel and complain. So Ooh. the moderators I really appreciate because I know that they watch for that. And we don't get that much out here yet because we're still pretty okay. so new. I have to say that some that we had we had one of our community members throw down some wicked awesome sci-fi throwback that I'm awesome. gonna have to throw some respect to the Lex. Whoa! The original BBC version oh. and the American version. Well, I don't know, but see, I'm we're BBC Love fans. Love the original BBC that, Lex. I would. We should do like if we painted a Lex. No, do you know what? We would be like a load out here. Be like, it's the Lex. And everybody be like, what, what? Is, that? what is that? But you know what? For for those. 50 or 100 people. <laughs> 50 people that would ever watch the video. <laughs> They'd be like, yes! <laughs> Just for you. Yeah, we love the Lex. And you know, there's lots of people out there saying that they uh, that they are either trying, in, proce in process of trying, or plan to try the Koi. Awesome. So Awesome. Go ahead and jump in on these. Yeah. You know. Um, Don't be afraid. You can hit pause anytime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You can write me and be like, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. I'm going to be like, you're it's, fine. It's sippy you're sippy. It, I really haven't seen a person be like in a painting where I'm like, oh, no, they're it's going to go all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's just art. Well, you know, there was that time I painted with your mom, and we were pretty sure it was a train wreck from the start. Yeah, I don't know what was going on that day. That's just, I'm, you know. I sculpt. I <laughs> do not paint. It need a third Actually, dimension. Actually, he can paint. He's done some gorgeous stuff. I I don't know, Mom. Sometimes she gets like she gets uh she gets rolling. I can paint on sheet metal. You paint just fine. I'm putting out a little more cat red, squeezing from the back of the tube, I'm pressing go back over the tube and look down. At that real quick, so we can see what pa colors we have out today. Yeah. So we have cadmium yellow medium. Oh, I got this. Oh, you got okay. <laughs> I do, sweetheart. <laughs> cadmium yellow medium, titanium white. Cad red medium, you can get it in hue, phthalo blue, yellow ochre, and of course, dogs in purple. So we're not using any black or anything today. We're gonna make a lighter green and we're gonna paint in the rest of our stuff. And then I'm gonna show you how to do the turquoise background. Mm. Yeah, super fun. Can't wait. It is, it's super, super fun. So is anyone painting along? the roses today is anyone I jumping in and going for it yeah it'd be really good to find out if anyone was, was uh yeah painting curious about that yeah. so if anyone is please let me know so i'm filling this in filling this in you I'm know what letting yeah. it be streaky and i'm letting it be smooth i'm not worrying about it i'm just trying to cover canvas you know i'm gonna i'm gonna throw this out there that if somebody if somebody was painting along right now with us, and uh, we we might even be able to uh, show their their uh, no yeah we absolutely you think you're could. ready for that oh totally you I think mean, you're ready for that pad one so if you are <laughs> if you're, YouTube pad one you uh, think well, you're ready to throw down with the YouTube Jedi I think I think that we could you know <sighs> we can see what happens here on Dagobah so. Uh, <laughs> So here's what I'm thinking that if you if you <laughs> non geek uh, people are like what just talk paint <laughs> what is this new fresh torture <laughs> I just want to paint a flower so I'm being very careful I'm following along on the inside of this with my brush and painting the tip of the bristles and I'm using the shape of the brush to control my edge and this is where sometimes brush quality matters now what brush are you using there I am using again, this is a Creative Mark Power Krill Bright. So this is another type of synthetic fiber and it tends to keep a very sharp edge. Yeah. 
and bright. It's, it is the sharpness of the edge. And, and listen, it's not you. They go dull fast. Hmm. And you can spend 60 bucks on a brush and have it go dull. Super irritating. So you want to catch your, your close-up cam down there? so we can I make do, sure you even right. more. Nausea cam. Wow, did it get more close-up? There you go, perfect, just go down. Okay, I'm just gonna be there yeah. because it's yeah, just, just a hot mess right down. You just, you just wanna kind of center there in wherever you're working for. All right, I'm just, you know, no, I'm doing, doing great. So you think you can get somebody to come in, what, oh. what are you gonna do, how are you gonna do that? So what I would say is that, you know, we're gonna, we'll see if anyone's available this time, but it, uh, but we'll tr we'll try to post up in the future that we'll, we'll be ready to do this. But I don't know. Mark might be able to. He's pretty hooked up. He's got a YouTube channel. Oh, he does. He he's uh, he was saying that they're just watching along. I'm, I'm keeping an eye out there. Mark is definitely teched up. He's uh, he's ready. But uh, what we can do is we could Skype somebody in and we could see what they've got going on. Now, in Skyping them in, can I see them yep, on see my them, monitor? You'd see them on the monitor. And it just as we would see everything going on live, we'd actually... The only thing we don't currently have is you wouldn't be able to hear what they're saying because I don't, you don't have a, a studio monitor over there. Right, or that ear PC thing. Ear, the ear PC thing, which is what we're working which on. Which is my technical term for obviously some piece of important equipment that we don't have. Studio monitor. Studio monitor. Yeah, we're going to work on one of those. Awesome. Yeah. but So it, it looks like Maricha uh, is, is volunteering to help us with the... Uh, Maricha, Maricha, she is super awesome. Maricha, Maricha, she is super awesome. She's a YouTube channel. Very serious artist. Yeah. And actually, she's part of an artist power couple. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're both artists. I didn't know. I can't even imagine the crazy in their house. <laughs> it's just like they're both like super creative, musical, artsy people, like building and arting and drawing, and there's just stuff everywhere. Can't and imagine always, what that's like. Yeah, I, and I feel like they should move to Texas, but Bernadette feels that they should move to Albuquerque, New Mexico. And I don't want to start nothing with Bernadette. I think Bernadette should, well... Bernadette's probably in a pretty chill place there. Bernadette, actually, I'd like Albuquerque to go visit is pretty her, yeah. awesome. I'd like to, I'd, I'd have to say move to Houston, but no, actually, uh, <laughs> no, it's probably one that one. <laughs> My we'll is not her. a fan of the Houston. No, no, Houston's cool. It's, I mean, Houston's got a lot of great things going for it, but like weather. In one of them? In, in one of them. You know, <laughs> 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 yeah, just not just good. I hear good about John's feelings about the weather. I'm getting a little red and a little dog's in purple. And now my my paint will dry out faster in my studio because of the lights than it will in yours. So yeah. I really sometimes got to work faster. Like sometimes even well, not at home. I'm still crazy fast. I'm just crazy fast. I don't yep. know what I'm in such a hurry about. Speed is not a component of painting. <laughs> So don't worry about my speed. You paint your speed. You, you should. Take I'm a sippy sippy. Sippy sippy. You take a sippy sippy. I'm going to scroll back. We're going to have to do the turquoise background here in a second. Yeah. I want to scroll back and see if anybody is painting along with us. Because I don't think anyone is. Everyone's just, they've got their stuff here. They're just like hanging out with us. Been like doing the secret dance. Yeah, we got over 60 people hanging out with just us. Just hanging out. Being cool. <laughs> chilling out in our, in, in our group. Thank you. Right. This is not a product endorsement. For nope. a company that I'm completely addicted to and can't break free of at all. Luckily, Content ID isn't scanning frame by frame for known. I mean, like how but long give before it a year. that happens? Because they'll certainly ping you for music in two seconds. Oh yeah, no, no, that stuff's coming. It's <laughs> two, we're trying two years away before they have condition <laughs> inside. I mean, like a. Oh it's, man. It's good stuff. All good right. Stuff. Can I start uh -oh. the turquoise background? Or are you doing something techie? No, I think we're pretty good. We're gonna have to say goodbye to Emmy though. She has to take off. Have a good day, Emmy. Have a I good look day. forward to seeing you. Channel's looking really good, sweetheart. Yep. Go by Emmy the Mastermind. See you while I can. All right. Now on to our background. What are we doing with your one inch filbert? Be my face with it. it. Why is that a filbert? It's rounded. It's, so it's rounded at the tip. And, and our, a filbert is and our favorite. And we can favorite. say filbert, that's right, but that's, that's what it's <laughs> called. The filbert. See, I'm not even making that up. It says filbert by Creative Mark. <laughs> and and I learned it. So yeah. It's I just always go to Rocco's Modern Life. Like, I literally hear the song every time I say filbert. She learned me something. So we're going to make some turquoise. And I may actually, for the purposes of showing you this mix, pull it out a little bit to the side. And put a little phthalo over here. 
you're adding some what you oh see that's the phthalo blue you added there yeah just All just right. just so i can have some nice pure turquoise so i'm going to get a little phthalo blue and a little of my yellow and i want a more blue green and i'm gonna pull white and i'm definitely not going to over mix now do you want to zoom and in I'm, yeah i should I should go up. To the nausea can. Up we go. I wish the tone on this was more um, accurate. Yeah. One of these days, we're going to do a draw our life <laughs> where we tell the story of how we got back to Texas. <laughs> we've been here a couple <sighs> times. We've well, you know what it is, is we can't draw a whole life when you're when you're our age. You can't draw a whole life because then that's just like war and peace. And also there's stuff I got to edit because I got kids. Yeah. And we have. A I can't do what Threadbanger did. So they don't even know. They don't have any kids yet. So they don't realize <laughs> that they shouldn't be doing some of that. Another thing I'm going to do, so I'm going to paint very carefully around my objects here, and it's going to let some of the yellow shine through. Now, this is going to, like, make you crazy because you'll be like, my yellow is shining through. You want your yellow to absolutely show through on this piece. So that, that's important. And why is that? It, it creates a luminosity to the painting. Um, one of the things that jurors and judges and people, and, you know, who collect art, they look for these types of techniques mm -hmm. to demonstrate sophistication in your painting language. Now, one of the things that you were, you were saying earlier, I remember, is that this kind of style is, uh, you, you have some different techniques here that are non-traditional. What do you mean? I get, where, where like where you've layered the image, the... You, you're layering the, the the background on top of things to create those uh, sort of non-intuitive layering. Is that uh, the outsider art? Styles? Oh no, this is actually not part of the outsider art movement. Okay. Interestingly enough, though this technique is sometimes used by outsider artists who are not outsider. They're not rebels. They're not. They're not create. They just paint in a non-traditional methodology. Right. I would say this is from the this is part of a modernist painting sensibility. Ah, uh, okay. Um, but it is it is definitely a close cousin to what we've been talking about. Okay, so when the other things you're just what it, you're noticing is the uh, similarities. Z z John does not spend so much, like w in the in the in the studio when I'm just painting and John is here and he's like on his computer and I'm painting on some big canvas. I don't generally narrate. I don't narrate. Where am I? There! <laughs> I don't narrate what I'm doing. So when I'm painting one of the big horses, I'm not like narrating to John like why I'm doing any of this stuff. Yeah, I, I <laughs> I'm don't, just I, like listening to music and painting. <laughs> I only get this stuff when, we're, when I'm on with you guys. Yeah, it's, it's, it's now, interestingly enough, my mom does narrate with hers, <laughs> no matter what. She'll narrate to me. I get the narration. Narration isn't bad. I've, I've learned a lot. <laughs> so this is just this creates this just beautiful thing another thing that you could do besides this gold background mm -hmm. which would be really gorge and not cheap but if you could do it would blow the person's mind who did it is gold gesso Ooh, that would sound good yeah and there's only like a couple companies that make it you got to search it and it's a high shine gold um, real famous equestrian artist um, that's done a bunch of the Triple Crown uh, work for them. She uses it, and that's how she gets the luminosity effect in her paintings that she's so famous for, gold gesso. Mm. But if one is not buying gold gesso, then this will work really well. <laughs> You know, and, and I know sometimes people are like, somebody was writing me about the absorbent acrylic ground mm -hmm. for golden that I use the watercolor thing. And she's like, Dad, it's like a lot of money and time. And I'm like, well, that's why I don't generally paint with it on the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing that does it. She's like, can you make that by hand? I'm like, if I could, I would. That was like a hundred bucks. <laughs> well, I had the, there's a, there. Uh... See, Clive confuses people because he makes his stuff all the time. <laughs> I, there's a really interesting comment that mm. just came up about the filbert brush that I did that, that came Oh, I would from, love uh, to hear the interesting comment about the filbert. 
Sharon says that the filbert brush is shaped like the hazelnut. In the Northwest, uh, we've always called the called the hazelnuts filberts. Oh, that's very cool. I had never heard of that before. So they call hazelnuts filberts. So it must have been a brush maker exposed to these. So it's a nut shaped brush, but you lost your zoom. I lost my zoom. You know, I, I want to make a little robotic remote control for that so I can just. Bzz, bzz. Well, if we get the broadcast camera ever. Right? But I, I think I'm just going to make it out of foam core no. and some servos. <laughs> if we get the broadcast camera ever, it does that though, doesn't it? Um, not until you add the robotic 3D. The th robotic I don't control. even want to know how much that's going to run. It's not, it's not terrible, but I mean, you know. Because um, I should car. do a video about like what YouTubers make because it's. <laughs> It is not what is reported. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is not. But what, there was also some questions uh, about how one might be able to participate with us live. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll we'll post some some stuff up on our website on the f on her Facebook page and our website. Oh, how to do the Skype thing? Yeah, about how we're gonna try to do some Skype in the future. And if you're interested in painting along, I'll with have us, you write a post for Facebook too. Yeah, we'll, we'll post we'll some stuff up around so people can find it. Because I love the idea of having my art family on live. Mm-hmm. I love it. You can paint a smaller brush. <laughs> If you find the big one is just causing you a bunch of grief and stress. You know, I, I'm confident with it and I like this very rough result. But if you were not enjoying that, switch brushes. Yep. Do not be trapped in a tool that makes you miserable. Like, you know, on the smaller piece, I think I used a bright. After not a, just bananas great. when that starts to go in. Yeah. It just it blows my mind. Now, are we we're we're going to do uh, have a te have a uh, a Q and A afterwards today? Um, if we have time with Sharon, I'd love to. Okay, so what I will do is while we are, maybe we can experiment with the Skype thing on the Q and A. Well, we may do that, and there's some, you know a lot of people had some technical questions about what's go what what's going on here in the studio, and I, and I think that in the Q and A that'd be a great place to answer some of those. Yeah. Um, if you have a YouTube channel or you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel and you're wanting to talk to John and I about that. We're actually, that's not a weird question to ask us. Um, yeah, I'm, we don't mind. Yeah, I'm part of the uh, Creative Arts Collaboration Group, which is a support group for art and craft YouTubers to other art and craft YouTubers. And that's a lot of what we do. John, John's in that. We don't mind sharing whatever it is we know to help you out. That's no trouble. It's not it is community based on YouTube and it's not like we figured out some camera trick and then we're like, no one else will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly I learned everything I do. I, I know by watching YouTube. Yeah, we are literally the product of YouTube. We make YouTube from YouTube by YouTube. Isn't that pretty much true? That's pretty much it. I mean, like while we're speaking right now, I am setting up another uh, <laughs> another event that uh, I'll share in the comments here. Okay. You want to check your close-up camera there? I do. I will um, check just, my close-up. Just scoot it over there I'm a little really bit. I'm really loving. Yeah. I'm really loving this whole thing. I really am thinking of... Uh, uh, now, interestingly enough, I probably, even without you, wouldn't have sold this one. Because I really like it. I like it. Oh, no, no, we're keeping all these. You know, super right. fun. I get them varnished. Like, now I'm starting to varnish them right after we finish them. So what time do we think this one's going to be done today? Dude, I got no prediction on this one. Guys, hang in with me. If you have to run away, I understand. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've got about an hour left of painting. All right. So it's, it's four o'clock. It says it's four now. Okay. So yeah, that makes sense. This <coughs> is about the difficulty of the Fox two hour painting. That's about right. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll set today at five o'clock to... Do a Q&A? Yeah. All right. We may maybe pushing it back. So definitely allowing this turquoise to streak and to pull. 
and, and look, I mean, I'm still getting the color. I didn't use any Australian Sienna or Southern Ocean Blue. I didn't have that here. I love using them, but there really is never a time you have to have some crazy paint unless it is a chemical reaction that you're looking for. You can mix the colors or close enough a cousin to them to never have to be worried about it. And I love this color palette so much. You're gonna have to watch your uh, close up there. Do I need to again? Let me see. Just make sure you're. Yeah, I'm still there, right there. This is the last of it. Let's see here. And you'll notice that I'll, I will go back horizontally and vertically and I'm breaking up these strokes and keeping a very modernist feel about this. So I think that is wonderful. Super happy with it. How, what do you guys think? Can I hold it up to the camera? Yeah, you can so totally hold it up So we can see the, the streaky camera. streaky? You let me know when the... There we that go. That looks pretty good. So you can see how streaky streaky... Uh, that light just really... Yeah, it, it helps a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. So this is... Pretty fun stuff. Pretty fun stuff. Sippy, sippy. Sippy, sippy. Because uh, I just watched uh, um, Bunny's latest thing, and I, I liked it. it. was spooky season. Mm. I'm going to go out there and take a look. I think, I think we have... I think we have our... Uh, uh, what do you call our, our Q&A session set up over here. That's why I have been somewhat mindfully distracted as I think that I've got it set up. So I'll set that link in the description here, over here in the chat channel here in just a minute and then okay. make sure that that's available for everyone. All right. So what are you working on over there? What, what are we, we bring our I'm going to get some more CAD yellow out. Is that what you're asking? Show where our colors are up there. It feels like my palette on this thing is really burned, burned and washed out. You it's know, like it the does. temperature on it really hot. Oh, goodness. I got some purple on my tube. Oops. It does. Yeah. I was noticing that today. I was thinking that um, after the show, I'm going to come out and see if I can uh, adjust. You think it's going out? No, I think that what it is is that camera just maybe a little running a little hot there on the. Okay. On the colors? On, on the, the color scheme? Yeah. Has anyone noticed my button? Ooh. This was some this was some happy mail I got from Robin Hardinson. She's got an Etsy shop and she makes buttons like this. And she made a whole bunch of art Sherpa buttons for me for VidCon. It was very cool. And now I just wear them in general because it's a weird thing I get to do. <laughs> well, I think that we've got the you know, everyone can check it out. I think that I've got the uh, the Q and A link. I just posted it up there and I'll post it up again throughout the uh, Okay. Uh, out throughout the uh, thing here. So I'm going to come into, I'm going to get a little of my blue and a little of my purple. I'm making almost a periwinkle. And if you need to, if you have too much on there, wipe it off on your brush. You don't want too much on there. I'm going to come over to my white and I'm going to get a very light periwinkle. And I'm going to come along the top of this, even lighter than this. That's a, this, is that, this color actually, while I've got it, I'm going to put down here. This is dark. If this ever happens to you, if you're going to use a color and you realize it's darker in value than what you were looking to have right there, one of the things that you can do, you don't have to just lose it or give up on it. You can just be like, where else could that color go? I have, I have seen people wipe off a color they could have used somewhere else on the painting. So that's what I do when I have a color I didn't intend to have there, is I find that other spot on the painting that was maybe where I would be using it. It's a place to save paint. Excellent. And super fun. But now that I've got that kind of toned down a bit, I'm going to get some more white here. And now I'm going to come along. There we go. Light, light, light color right here along this, this petal tip. Light, light, light. Light, 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 light. Just edging. Is is the close-up cam good on it? Let's see yeah. here. Okay. So we're gonna. Uh, Mark light, asked light, if light. I could post if we, if we could post up the link in uh, in Google Plus, and uh, we'll do that here just immediately after the show. Ah, yeah. And uh, as a matter of fact, I may post it up as a comment here inside the uh, uh, 
Just pulling that light color down right there. Let me get a little red and purple. And a little white. A little red and purple and a little white and pull a little more of that down. I don't want too much water on my brush, but I don't want it to be dry either. So it's just a dampness that gives me a pretty good flow is what I'm looking for because I want a little bit of blend. And I'm just looking where I can put this, maybe a little more red in that tone right there with the purple into my white. Just working it along. And, and you'll keep coming back with these colors is the thing, is that you're gonna keep coming back and working these colors and lightening them and darkening them and hitting highlights and hitting low lights. And it's really kind of fun. So, uh, I'll I just want to- right here on this outer edge right here. We've added a link in the description for our Did Q and A section, for our Q and A after All the right. show. We uh, wanted to take time to say thank you for everyone joining us. We've got we've got almost 65 people here wow. with us today. So wow, thank you guys. very thank much you. for joining us. If you could take a time to, to uh, click like or, or, or subscribe or comment, and we really appreciate it. It helps you, it helps let you Somebody YouTube was know you're making here. fun of you for how often you say that in the comments before the show. They were like, Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> and well, I was like, Well, it's going to be John or Clive. <laughs> so I've got the light purple at the top of these petals while you're doing your thing. I'm just letting everybody know it's light purple at the top of these petals over here. Working that in. And come along here and work some of that also. Get a little darker tone. So, is is this tripping anybody out? Is everybody there, feeling pretty good about like what oh they're yeah. seeing? Everyone is loving this. They, they appreciate seeing the button too. They like the button. The button? Your button. Oh yeah, the button's good. It's like the button. Can't even remember what I was saying earlier. There's oh. a there's also a purple a, and blue. A rolling call for Sherpa shirts. Sherpa shirts. Really? Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. Add a little red to that. Making some more of that brick color. No, in, this is like a this is like a deep, deep purple. It's really interesting when you play with this stuff. So it's more what can happen? I'm gonna come along with this dark color. So that was oh, that yeah. was the blue, the purple, and a scotch of the cad red. And, and I'm creating yeah. some deep shadows here underneath this petal lip. Underneath this petal lip. I'm going to come over here, pull a little more white, and just pull some of that down there. And if I have to put it back, I put it back. That's what I do. That's what I do. So it's really nice. Everyone's asking when we're going to have t-shirts and hats and merchandise and buttons. Uh, I think really soon. You really soon. As soon as we get our app up and launched, we'll be able to focus on... Uh, Chuck's been doing some... The doodle, if you guys like it, that's part of the new design sensibility. And Chuck's been working on some really wonderful stuff that we're um, pretty impressed by. Oh, yeah. Pull some more red into this. And that's what we're doing. We're just pulling those little colors in. I've got this. I'm going to get the blue on my brush a little stronger. Mm -hmm. And then come and really pull a lot of white. And then along the top of this petal, I'm going to lay this down. It's a very light color. 
It won't be the last color I do on the top of this petal, but by any means, we're going to take that to more of a turquoise like what we see out here, but I want to cool this down mm. before I add that. Look, oh, I could definitely use some of this right here. And this is just what I do on pieces like this. Is I go around and I look for places that the color exists or I feel like I want the color to exist. <laughs> it's an interesting thing because sometimes it doesn't actually exist there, but you feel like you'd like it to. Yeah. I'm going to rinse this out. And so this is, like I said, this is not a, this is not a small something. Right in here. And it's grayed out because there's a little bit of that purple in there. I'm going to get this white. There we go. Even more. I might actually. What might you do? I'm going to work some different tones. Yeah? Yep. You want a sippy sippy before you go for your. I don't know. Do I? I don't know. You look like a little there's sippy sippy driver. <laughs> well, there's a lot of people who are asking about your sippy sippy. Look They're at my little happy berries. Oh, yeah. I love the little berries. There was, there was a request. Where's Tiki Tiki Man? Um, said national chain does not put and drink in my tiki tiki cup. <laughs> we should transfer for tiki. We could totally transfer. Not this time. Not Good this time, though. No. So I've got this bright orange here. And I'm going to start working this around. This nice orange. I'm going to start working this around my flower. Down into my shadow. And I might even move to a slightly bigger brush. Looking for one. I, I want slightly bigger than this half inch I'm working. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to get into this filbert. It's uh, just shy of an inch, my filbert. And I'm going to get, because I want to get a little more of this covered in the time that I'm working. If that makes sense. Yes. And my little brush, I can get there, but I'm going to be at it for a while. <laughs> so he'll come back out in a minute, but right now I want to start pulling in some of these colors a little more, a little faster. You, however, do not have the time constraints that I have. Take your time. Relax. Yeah. Enjoy. Start putting in the orange here. Working out my orange here, my white out. And we'll say Add thank you. Add a little white to that petal. I'm gonna say thank you to everyone who's joining us today. We've got over 65 people here who've just been steadily cruising along painting with us. Uh, this is just extraordinary. And really actually, really are they painting though? Are they just watching us paint a rose? I, you know, I think that, that, that a lot of the ones that are here today are, are, are uh, they're, they're cheering us along. They're, they're sending good wishes to Amy and they're, they're yeah. enjoying everything that we're doing with us, keeping that, our community going. That is really awesome. You guys have no idea. Now I've added a lot of white to this orange color and I'm gonna come here and really peach up this petal. Ooh. And really, really peach up that petal. And I'm going to peach up this petal as well. And some here, and just some here up in the highlight. Just peaching it up. Peach it up. Peaches. 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 Hey, peaches. I always think of the... Uh Pusa song, Peaches. Mm-hmm. So just pulling this lovely peach, because this, this rose had a lot of lovely peach in the photograph. If you've pulled the photograph, if you found the link, and you pulled it, you know what I'm talking about. You totally know and understand what I'm talking about. He did such a good job of lighting this piece. And the reflective light on the petals was just really inspiring. Mm -hmm. Really got me going. So I'm just moving some of that around to these places, like over here, and then come to the outside. Because this is like a bowl right here, and I'm shading that. 
and add some of that color there. We want lots and lots of layers. We're working the layers. Mm. Right? We're yep. working these layers. Working these layers. Added some orange back into that, even though I know I'm going to come back with some blue. It looks really nice. Yeah, it just, this one just has to be built up. There's nothing to do but to do it. I'm back into my half inch bright. And I'm going to do just a little blue over here and a lot of white and a little bit of yellow. I'm trying to get my turquoise back stronger into the blue. White. Sometimes you got to hunt for color. Sometimes you got to hunt for color. I'm just working that through here. Just highlighting this petal. Where this petal is bent back. If you guys think about a rose, their petals bend back, don't they? Their petals completely can bend back. And put some of this turquoise right here. It's looking really nice. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to do. Super fun, in fact, to do this. Putting that turquoise in there, a little bit here and there, up in the bowl. Mm -hmm. And keep painting that out, though. So we're going to start really defining this petal right here. Am I okay on my up close cam? Yeah. All right. We're going to really think about this one right here. So I'm going to put out, you're going to be putting out paint <laughs> pretty regularly, and I may have to put out some more yellow just because I got mine contaminated with the um, purple. Happens. Happens, happens, and you just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. And I'm going to make some different little peaches over here and really work this upward petal. I'm going to pull out some red here, load it into my brush. Over to my yellow. And I want this more towards the red than the yellow. And I'm going to pull a lot of white. I'm going to get a, just a soft, almost flesh tone, super light tone, and come along this and pull this down. Super light on this upper. Light shines through these petals. It, they're very reflective. Rose petals are very reflective and translucent at the same time. It's kind of an interesting little experience that you have with rose petals when you're painting them. So you have to look at where the light is shining through them and where light is reflecting back up into them. Because both of those things happen quite a lot. I'm more to the yellow in this color here. And I'm blending. Blending softly. This is a soft pressure. If you think of a rose petal dusting your cheek, how soft is that? That's about the right pressure. Right? And that's a beautiful image, isn't it? Aren't rose petals just soft and wonderful? And we'll get more into the red here, which yeah. is the straight yellow. I'm going to come along between these petals very nicely on my little edge, working the tips of my sharp little bright. It's still sharp. The edge is starting to go on this. I had to buy a bunch of brushes just recently because my edges are starting to go on my brushes. Now, to, you can kind of extend them. It's like you can extend hair color if you're willing to wash your hair in ice water. Mm -hmm. You can extend your brushes if you're willing to adopt an incredibly intensive care ritual. I'm going to get some just red here. Yeah. And I'm going to come and I'm going to add just some just some soft spots of just red mm. here and there in there and I hopefully you guys can see this. I'm going to see if I can I really feel frustrated like sometimes oh, That's good. It. That's really good. You can see that. Oh, back up there you go. Yeah, you can see it all. Okay. Yeah, it's looking good. It's just important to me that people see it. Yeah, the new front light really helps fill that. So I'm going to take this color I got on my brush and get a very light, 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 light version of this and come around out here, work this petal, pull that down, let me get some deeper yellow, 
Come right here and pull that up. That's its darker shadows, that yellow. So with rose petals, and when we do the skull tomorrow, it's got a simpler rose tomorrow, but the idea is, is that it's, you paint the shadows and the lights on roses. That's what you're really working. That's what you're really going for. I'm gonna paint this petal, these petals over here now. All right. We're gonna start just doing this rose. So this, I'm gonna pull some purple over to my red. All right, pull this color out. And we're gonna get just into the white of that. And this one, this far back one, I'm gonna work this, pulling this down, this light, light, light color. And then along here, pulling it down in the second puddle. And then I'm going to get more of the red here. And I'm going to pull this little shadow right here. Pulling it along here. Get a little more white. It's just we're just trying to balance these two little spots out. Along the top here. Gonna get a little more purple. More red, take it over to purple. Yeah, just definitely work this right here. Just creating that. That little edge. And then this this little spot right here could use some of that dark color right along this little petal edge. Let's go ahead and pull that right up into the, the petal, this little darker thought. Not an unhappy thought, just a deeper, richer thought. Now get right into the white there. Come along here. Zoom in there a little bit on you. Oh, that's that really starting. Good? Yeah, that's looking really good. I'm gonna get back into my peaches, really rinsed out my brush, because the purple and the yellow obviously don't like playing together. Get back into my peaches. Thinking of present, what's our music today? I heard you playing some new music. I'm gonna come right along the top of this purple. Yeah, well, you know, we've had, we had this really nice, uh, some really nice background tracks that we picked up. You know, the guys over at uh, Audio Blocks helped us out with that. So, some new stuff there too. Is that all from Audio Blocks? No, not all of it. Oh, okay. Some of it's Audio Blocks, some of it's Premium Beats. Yeah, I like Audio Blocks and Premium Beats, I like those. So I'm pulling a very light color all across this and painting out the purple almost. I'm gonna put a little bit of this peach between these two colors with a lot of white. And again here, I'm gonna put in a little of this along this edge here, working these little color. And then over here as well, working that in there. Can even come along here. Now an interesting thing that you can do is you can get a little of this, load your brush with a little bit of blue, come over and get the white. It's a very light color you're gonna get, because what it is is there's just a little bit of it reflecting in here. You're just reflecting a little bit of that. Come along the top of here. Really light with this blue up here along the top of this one petal right above the this one here. I'm going to really work this one out. Just going to really work this one out. And we're going to get this one all painted in. All painted in. And again, we're back to anchors, aren't we? We finish one. Almost there. We think there. one out. And then we move on, is what we do. If you printed out the photograph, you can really look at what you're doing. Yep. And really think about what you're doing in a very complete way.
I know I want some of this purple and red here again. Let's go into that a little, a little more. Get some moisture on my brush because it's not, if it's not fluid, that's generally what it is. Is like sometimes you want your brush to be dry and then sometimes you want it to have nice flow. And if you're fine that you're not getting the result you want, it may, it's too much or too little moisture on your brush. Oh yeah. And the more you're painting wet into wet, the better blend that you're gonna get on everything. But on something this size, it can be drying out on you faster. Yep, yep. Then you can do anything about it. And then what do you do? All right, what do you do? I'm going to get my red. I'm gonna come into this. I'm gonna start putting some of these, working this right down here, pulling this up. Ooh. Yeah. I didn't add any white to it. I'm just letting that red come through the brush. And I'm working this paddle. Taking this right over to the edge. Yellow, get a little white. So one of the fun things about art is to look for your colors, is to hunt for them. It's uh, probably the process by which we get the most health benefits. If you talk about the health benefits of art, it's this, this, uh-oh, did we lose power? <laughs> no, no, I just turned off the AC. Oh, okay. Getting a little chilly back here. Is it getting a little chilly? Yep. And I've got a lot more white on that petal. It's the looking and hunting for colors. This color mixing, the reason I don't like to paint from the tube is I like to hunt for my color. I like to find it. And I don't, I think I get real incredible benefits, like emotionally as an artist, aesthetically as an artist, by color mixing myself. I would never ask anyone to go through anything that was frustrating or not completely easy if I didn't think that it was completely worth it. Mm -hmm. And I do think for this, it is completely worth it. I'm taking this little yellow over here. I'm gonna get back into my red peach. Put that back in. So you kind of see that constant hunting, right? Yeah. That, that, that ongoing, I'm looking, I've got some just yellow here. I'm looking for these colors and I'm mixing up and oh, I've just popped some yellow in there. I'm gonna come here a little bit. We're gonna work some of this back in a different way. I'm gonna come back with the purple, interestingly enough, but it's layered under there. Ooh. I don't know what that is. There's Greta. Greta has an opinion she about does. somebody. Probably cat. Well, I tell you what. She has the it's strongest opinions about cats. She does. And you know, it's, 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 how are we doing here? How are we doing? How are we doing? How, how, I don't know how we're, I d how are, are we taking too long or no, something? No, I'm just curious. I just don't know how this is progressing. Well, I mean, the painting looks good. Yeah, no, it does. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what to tell you besides the painting do be looking good. We're almost done with this petal. And this is just what it takes to do roses. Yeah, it's just a little So they're, they're a simple thing that has a lot of complicated stuff going on, which is why people get real stuck in them. But we're about to finish this petal over here. What do you think of that? I think that's pretty cool. We got this one in and this one in and this one in. We're gonna come over and do this one. And that's how we do it. We which just ones? build, build, build. <laughs> I was on the other camera. <laughs> well, okay, I'm gonna sippy sippy because like I said, this is like a total, this is like. It's like marathon, marathon yeah. rosing. I don't know. I sometimes worry about when I do these more complicated ones. Will anybody paint them? You I know? Think, I think lots of people are going to be painting them with us. I hope so. I hope they'll be brave. I hope that they'll try. I've got a very reddish purple here. I'm coming and loading. I'm going to come back. It's light. I'm going to work this little petal with this nice square. I'm arcing my little brush stroke, trying to show the arc of this beautiful petal. All right, trying to arc that down. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna 
get into my my peach again my yellow get a nice strong red going I'm gonna work this here I love working it work it Debbie Allen this is where you pay what is it what did she say um, <laughs> fame fame hurts and this is where fame costs and this is where you pay and oh sweat. yeah <laughs> well art this is where those skills come from is just being okay with this and I know sometimes that's that's when you're new 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 that's frustrating you know and if you get into this and you're like woo, go back and do some other paintings it'll be okay you can get here <gasps> oh I meant to talk about something what's that faith who's been with us since I, I think day one faith was the first person to have faith in me right yeah early early days faith um, who has really come a long, long way. She's like exhibited places now. She's starting to sell, and this was from just not painting. She's in art school. She oh put wow. herself in art school. Had no idea. Uh, so cool, right? And she's got an instructor who keeps coming and painting on her canvas. Ooh. And that's a thing they do. She's like, I don't know, is it me? Is it like, am I just having too much ego? Because I don't want him painting on my canvas. Uh, no. It's not you, it's him with the ego, it's crazy. And a bunch of them do this and you get to put a smile on your face and you just kind of kiss those paintings goodbye in those classes. Try to get your two or three skills you needed from that guy or girl out of there. But sometimes you'll take a class and some person will come by and without asking, they'll just start painting on your canvas to show you because they're visual and they're artists and they want to share with you what they see and they'll paint on your canvas. One of the things that I learned when teaching was to be like, is it okay if I touch your canvas? Because it's like touching somebody's personal space. And if you ever just feel jarred by that, I don't care how famous that artist is, it is okay to feel jarred. It's really invasive. And they should ask your permission, but probably they won't. Yep. And that's what Jesso's for. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, think, I think I've had some, um, I don't know if I had any instructors that did that when you and I were together. No, I don't think so. But oh, I for a long time I, I, I had like tissue over my canvas that was taped there that was to come down as a protective shield. Be like, why don't you show me on the tissue? But what they do then is they drop your grade. Right? See that? That pedal has come in. Ooh, that looks really good. Isn't that looking fantastic? So much fun. And while I've got this wonderful color, I'm going to come back over into my red. And I'm going to work over here into this petal. Red and yellow, get a brighter, deeper, funner orange. And I'm going to work that all through here while we're at it. Coming along here. Pulling that in. Look at that some white going get some white going and just pull that on the outer edge pulling that white in pulling it in look at that that one came in really easily oh yeah just yeah, pop right just, in just sometimes they'll just pop in and while I'm here not trying to be a pain to anybody so let's get some of that purple and red going again. A, a, a nice, vibrant one. Mm -hmm. Because we're going to just a couple of places, we're going to deepen the shadow. Oh, yeah. Just a couple of places. And I'm working the tippy edge of my brush here. Tippy edge of my brush here. And it's just a thing that you can do and should do. And it's going to give you some... I'm gonna get some red, just some strong red right here. And this is just about helping the petals separate. All right, now we got this, and we're like almost through this rose. Hmm. Is anyone else impressed we're still I attacked? I think this is pretty impressive. <sighs> Advanced class. Y'all asked for it, now we're doing one. How's that feel? It's rocking it, you're rocking it. People are hanging in. We've almost got They're 70 people here. That's crazy. Yeah. Let's do the secret dance to secret celebrate. Dance. And also because I need to move my body. Work that shoulder. 
seven, eight, four. Does any, anyone else been surprised at how exhausting painting actually is? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm, always, I'm always like, oh wait, I got too much purple on there. I'm gonna, this water's gotten dirty, but I have, I have prep water that I keep everywhere. Spare replacement water? Yeah, so I don't have to, well now that we're not editing, it used to be I'd run out and with the magic of editing, you know, come back in and fix it, but now, not as much. So I'm gonna come here and I've got this little bit of, of orange still in there and I'm gonna get the white mixture. And it's a nice light mix and I'm gonna come and work this petal. Leaving some of that blue and purple and peach, those colors underneath. Right, and how they show through. It does, it creates a layering. You know, I'm I'm always so surprised when, you know, people come in and say hello by name in here. And I guess what's really kind of shocking to me is, is that people know my name. <laughs> 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 so for all of you saying hello out there, thank you. I appreciate it. It's a... Uh, it's nice. Hi. Yeah. You've been enjoying this being part of this side of things. Well, yeah, I, I love seeing all the artwork that people produce. I mean, I had no idea that uh, when we started all of this, that people were using, you know, this this work for as much as they had been. You know, yeah. And it's so, what some of you guys use artwork to get through. Just I'm in awe of you just in awe of your strength and your courage and the things that you guys get through in your lives which is why we're instigating wishes because you know it's important to feel like life is hopeful it's important no it's uh pull some very are, are you gonna um paint now are you gonna paint the edge of the canvas before you uh do i paint the edges yeah. No, I frame. You can totally paint the edges. I don't. This is um, technically it's a gallery wrap because it's stapled on the back. However, it is not really a gallery wrap that I would just paint the edges and not frame. This is, which we're going to be doing this tomorrow. Oh yeah. Uh, and these um, are the canvases are on sale right now at Michaels. Yep. So, but you can always use your 40% off coupon and this is how this is. And, and obviously this is never gonna need a frame and it just hangs on the wall and it's just gorge. Yeah. And I'm gonna show you guys this in that size. It's gonna be a 10 by 10 tomorrow. And we've- uh, We're not gonna be working big. So it's complicated, but it won't be as big as this. So it won't take as long. I'm rinsing out my brush. And I've posted up the link for the Q&A, both in the, uh, in the, in the, information section below. It always well trips me out that any, anybody comes to Q&A. <laughs> I've uh, got yeah. this dark color I'm working here. So I mean, I will always show up to them, but does, does it always surprise you? It totally surprises me. Oh yeah. Let's work this right here. Just a little bit of that, showing that shadow. I'm gonna get a little white here. Work that in. Blend that out. There we go. There's that pedal. And another pedal down. And another one down. And another one down. <laughs> and we're about to, we're going to do this and then we'll be at the anchor. And then we'll be just doing leaves and butts. Ooh. How do we feel about that? Pretty good. Feel pretty good? Yeah. Get my peach, 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 peach. Now, what's nice is at this point, we have a lot of colors that are sort of just around the palette. If you're painting quickly enough to not have them dry out, what happens is then you can just grab them when you need them, you know, and just paint places with them. And that's always a really fun thing. And, you know, so you might not have thought that you could do that, but you totally can. Totally, totally can. Now, pull this here. You know, and it feels like some of that disappears, but actually it stays longer than you think. Now 
when you pull these colors in. Everything okay? I hear a beep. Ah, got hot again? Yeah, everything's going okay. It's just a AC cycling on. I'm going to get some of my darker color that I have over here. Add it to the purple because I want a deeper kind of purple. And I'm going to come in. Put in that shadow. Along here. Look at that. Pedal in. For <laughs> In a little moment. <laughs> I was like really freaking out. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to teach this one. I mean, like, I've taught a lot of things like this, but usually, like, you know, you go someplace and it's a little bit here and then there's a lunch break. And I think it's turned out pretty good. It's really good. Coming together. Anchor. Anchor is wonderful, right? So we're gonna get doing our yellow and our red. Yellow and our red. Painting along. Everybody still okay? I think everyone's everyone's loving the rose. I'm so glad you guys are doing this with me. It is a joy to do these. I have some y'all there. When you get a color, roll into it. Don't fight it. Oftentimes there's a you know, Bob used to say happy accidents. I think it's just he painted enough to know, ah, it's still okay. <laughs> Mountain will have a shadow over here. I don't mind. You know, just gotta not worry about it. Got some more red, almost to the pink. I'm working that in the petal. Come along here. This light color, bring it down and work this peach through here. Work this peach through the bowl here. There we go. Cut through. Let it streak out. Is this really gorgeous, gorgeous thing? The AC keeps going on and off. <laughs> it Back does down here with this warmer color. Just a couple places, and then along here. Where are you going? Where am I going? <laughs> Just getting a little white. <laughs> You're like, no, my hand. My, I pushed my. Ha I placed my hand on the keyboard wrong, so it just all the all the cameras were Just one off working on my this finger. right here, and look at that. So there, that's in. And here's something that we can do. Rinse, 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 rinse. Um, make a very fresh, bright turquoise. If you have any color left to do so, I might need some white somewhere because so I keep running out of that. Palette gets real pretty at some point, doesn't it? <laughs> it is. Do we, you know, it's a. Uh, you got lots of. You just going right on top of that. Is that white? That's just white. Just put out some white. I still need this to be bright, and I still need it to be strong. But so I'm just gonna have to add a little white to it so it pops. There we go. So that's white and and. The blue and blue. yellow. It's our turquoise that we've been mixing. Okay. And we're gonna go around and we're gonna pop a couple of places some of this turquoise that we have mixed. <laughs> what? They were, they, everyone was commenting that you were faking me out with the cameras earlier, and I was, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm totally, I live for that. <laughs> just so just a couple places, there. I add a little bit of that reflective in there. And that layering adds a lot to it. Yeah, it just does. It's, that is that extra little zip. All right, now we got leaves and bud. Leaves and And then bud. we're done. 
That's awesome. People are like, <laughs> get out of this flower. Take a sippy, sippy it break. It seemed like a little rose, and see, but I'm like, I'm on like a Trenta, very, very refresher, which apparently has more caffeine than coffee. <laughs> Does it? Mm-hmm. Zippy, zippy, zippy. Zippy, zippy. Some zippy, 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 zippy. Zippy, 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 zippy. <laughs> So I probably need to put out a little more blue. It's more. I like the blue. Blue is wonderful. Blue is fine. And we're gonna start just giving ourselves some nice little colors. So you're pulling what? What colors? Red. Are you I'm pulling, pulling cad red. Yeah. A little blue. And what's that one? And a little dogzine purple. It's a very strong color. But I'm going to be giving some deep shadows to some things. Could you, could you lower the, um, the camera? I can. So we can... See what's going to be going on here. Whoop, All right. whoop. Oh, there you go. I have to stop. <sighs> it's like a disaster movie. So I want this deep, dark color here. I want another dark shadow to come here. Yep. And then we're going to come down with a pretty strong version of that. And you're like, but that's not even green. What is going on? <laughs> this is the stuff that makes painting just a total joy. I'm gonna come along here, middle of this, and add some of this dark color right here. Oh boy, they're mowing the yeah, lawn and, while and we're- <laughs> And of course, there's a they're, they're mowing the lawn there in the background, so. I'm going to come under this leaf with this dark color. It's very strong in the red. And sometimes with certain colors that they, if they don't almost belong someplace, it implies a shadow without using black, which I really like. And this, this is a true nearly high hat kind of piece as it is. So I've got this coming along here, right? It just, it's that kind of thing where people like, they see it and they're like, I just feel this piece. I feel it. And that's what you get. Come along here. Coming along here. Outlining that. Powerful, powerful way to talk about things. So it's um, different than watercolor. And watercolor would be like what I didn't paint, interestingly enough, that would tell the story. The strength in watercolor is what you can resist painting. And then in acrylic, it's the color that you unexpectedly give to people when they didn't know they were getting it. And already we're getting some... Yeah, that's looking really good. Some stuff happening here, right? We're getting some thoughts and we're gonna get our little green in there. So I think, you know what? I haven't used yellow ochre, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. Sorry I made <laughs> you guys put it out. I'll try to annotate at the beginning. Sometimes that oh, happens where I'm sure I'm gonna out. use something. Yep. And then I get in there and I'm like, oh, I don't really want it. So you're mixing, what are you Just mixing? Just cad yellow and, and thalo blue. Some cad yellow and thalo blue. Yeah, if I'm gonna gray it or do anything to it, I think that I'm going to, uh, and I'm gonna come along here and just put a little of this a couple places. It's just a happy little green. I haven't over mixed, so maybe the yellow is a little streaky and. That's okay, we like the streakiness. No, we do, we need it here. Embrace the streakiness. I'm gonna come this side, pull that in here. These are very brutalist uh, brush strokes. Do you wanna pull the camera down just a touch there? So sure. you can see them that mid frame. There we go, that's much better. Okay. A little lower is even better. You know, I'm gonna come over this side. This side got a little more yellow on it, so I'm gonna let that be a highlight. A little more yellow here. Pull it up into this leaf. This back one can have some of the extra yellow. Just 
just working these little leaves like we did the petals before. It's the same thing, right? It's the same thing. We come up to the bud, I guess. Well, that's just lovely. Yeah, we, we have a, a lawnmower attacking our back door, so uh, apologies. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we didn't know. Bring that up there. Come down here. It's streaky, right? The yellow is it mixed all the way in the green. And that's a lot of what we do, picking up a little more of the blue as I come down the stems. It's a little deeper color. On the edge of my brush, I'm going to put a little of this lighter color down here. Yeah, you're going to pull the. And I'm going to move this back there down. Now I've got this right here. I'm going to get into my white. And I've got an almost mint. And I'm going to come on this side of my little stamen here. And I'm going to put some of this mint highlight in my stamen. Sounds bizarre, but that's what we're doing. And I'm going to just start working this leaf. So I've got this little white here. And while I've got this little white here, I'm going to come get this yellow and white. And I'm going to add it to a spot. If I need to wipe this off, I wipe it off. I'm going to get a little just straight yellow. Come along this little edge and put some just yellow on this side. Just working the colors. I got a little picked up a little blue. Just work those colors where you need to. You know? And then if you have any peach left, you know, you can put that, believe it or not, if you had any left. You can put that right here in that leaf. Put a little peach there. Break it down a little peach. Maybe along the stem I've got a little peach and I'll put a little peach down here and let's work a little bit of it into this leaf right here. Work a little peach into that leaf. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. And over into this one. And then a little bit over here. You're just getting these colors. Yep. And you're delighting yourself. That's what you're doing. Just having a good time with your colors. You're having a good time with your colors. I've got some very bright, lemony, soft green here. Pulling that up. Looks nice. And pull some of that in over here. And now, can you talk about the arc you're using there with your brush? That, that's kind of creating some implied... So the implied, like, the way I arc my brush stroke to imply that something is round. Yeah. So, like, I could do some here. If I arc this over, yeah. it tells a story of this leaf having yeah, that, that really shape. I noticed that you, when you, on that first leaf, when you did that, that really created some yeah. shape and depth to it. So those, so just, can you show that again, maybe on the... I need to put some depth back in this brush in this leaf over here. Yeah. So I'm going to do it like this. Oh, nice. So you're creating a shadow there on there. Yeah. Putting a shadow back in. And that's what I'm trying to do. I can take some of this over here and going into that. You don't need these leaves down here are visually and emotionally out of focus. All right. Mm -hmm. Now you can absolutely get some just CAD. It's a shocking thing to do. Get some just CAD in a couple places, and I mean just like a dot. Add some CAD into the leaf space. Just a crazy thing you can do. Wholly recommend it though. And we're going to come up and work this bud and this stem. Similar stuff will be going on. We're going to get this delightful lemony mint green. It's light. It's to the yellow. And you know. And we're going to work it along the edge of this bud, on the edge of our brush. Just now, pull some of it in. Which brush are you using? I'm still on this. Like it's not quite a half inch. It's the bright. It's that that, that yeah. creative mark. 
right? So yeah, just put a little strut like there and then just come along your stem with this light, 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 light color. And just for a little bit, not the whole thing, just come down like that. Let's get some yellow. And we've got over 70 viewers with us right now. I'd wow. like to thank everyone for joining. We really appreciate it. And uh, please post up your pictures. We want to see what you guys do. We want to see your roses. We want to see your Eiffel Towers. We, we want to see all these. We do, but right now we need to see the wet paint into wet paint. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so we're going to get some yellow. Yep. We're going to get some yellow. And while there's still some sort of wet, because sometimes when it's wet, it still helps you. And then we're going to pull this up here. We're going to add some of it there. Come into the stem down here and add this bright yellow and put it down here. Put it someplace. And let's get a really interesting, almost deep turquoise green with the, this is really lovely. If you add just a sm smidge of white to it, it will pick it up, but it won't be like the background. And let's work that in here, dabbing that in. You guys see, can you see that, John? Oh yeah, yeah, it's real in there. All right, we're almost there. And we do want to see, John's totally right, we do want to see everything you're working on. We do want to see it. John loves to see it. It is, it is my reward for seeing what you guys do out there. It is, he works, he works I, really hard here. Pulling that up there, some of that unexpected color. All right, and we're going to get like a green, shockingly. Right here over this purple, we're gonna, we're gonna brush a little bit of green, and then we're gonna pick up a little bit of cad. We're gonna blend them, blend them, blend them, blend them, blend them, so that there's this greenish red that's happening. And then pick up your CAD, and a little of your yellow and your CAD, and just come up this bud. And that is how you get that very difficult gradient. Ooh, that looks really nice. Yeah, it's a difficult gradient to get the green to the red. I've picked up some white, we're gonna work this down. Mm. You know, and sometimes it's hard to get certain gradients, and that is one that's hard to get. And so that is how you get that. And go ahead and put some of this color on the outside of your bud. Guess what? What's that? We did it. We did it? We did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> believe we did it. Woo! John did it. Yay, John, you did it. I hope you've done it. I mean, if you're at the end of this, it's, you should have done it. You gotta Pretty just pay with me. Yeah, we got it all in there. Do you wanna pull, you wanna pull that up here and show the show? Yeah, the I really do. It's looking really good. I don't know how, like which tip keeps it from, see, because it gets so reflective that way. Where does it pop? Oh, it looks pretty good all the way around there. You see that? Oh, yeah. Craziness going on with the little leaves. Yeah, we've got a, got a wonderful lawnmower running outside, too. Yeah, that's our new soundtrack. Wonder if we have to pay for that. Yeah, yep. wait, we do. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully that lets you guys see what you did. Absolutely. Gosh, thank it's you. It's like guys. you came to one of my work workshops. Yeah. And we talked about all kinds of art, arty party things. I hope, am I giving you enough information to get you guys through the painting? Because that's one of my worries is that I'm giving you enough information. Yep. But please let us know. Tell us all, you know, tell us what your ideas are. Yeah. Please put in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe. It helps let YouTube know you're here and you like us. 
And we, we of course, want to see all of your posts. You know, we want to see your paintings. We want to see that share. I want to see some roses. Yeah. I want to see some cool. I want to. I love seeing when you guys, when I put out new paintings, and you guys all do them, and they all come out gorgeous. And I love seeing that. Yep. Let's prove YouTube wrong. Long form process videos. Yeah. And can keep up with adorable grumpy cats. And be sure to join us here at our Q&A. Just a few minutes. We'll go ahead and fire that up after a quick bio break. Yeah. All right. I want to see you at the easel. All right, guys. Really soon. I want to see you at the easel really soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys.